When it comes to the bongos, he doesn't miss a beat. Jack Costanzo is a world of wonder, hands down. Born in Chicago in 1919, Costanzo began his career not with his hands, but his feet. At 14, he began dancing at the Merry Garden Ballroom. But when the band featured a bongo player, Jack fell in love with the sound, fashioning his own bongos out of old butter tubs before putting a real set to work on the road with his dance partner, Marta. I used the bongos in the dance act. When my girl partner did solo footwork, I'd follow the, the feet with the bongos. That's how I started playing. Jack was only 17 when he married his dance partner, but when World War II broke out, Jack joined the Navy and was stationed in the South Pacific. When the war ended, the percussionist was back on the scene with big name musicians like Dizzy Gillespie and Desi Arnaz. In 1947, Stan Kenton featured Jack Costanzo on a tour of the East Coast where he earned the nickname Mr. Bongo. I feel very proud that we introduced bongos in American music. And I feel like it's, it's, it has established a, a permanent place in the music. Jack soon found a place with Nat King Cole and in 1949 made it to Carnegie Hall. What is the secret of your plan? Practice. <laughs> practice, practice, love the music and adapt to it. Whatever the, whatever the style is, that's what, what I was able to do all my life. I was able to fit what I played with any kind of music. His music led him to Hollywood. Mr. Bongo was now starring with the stars from dancer Ann Miller to Judy Garland. And in 1955, was even featured on national TV in Edward R. Murrow's person to person show as Marlon Brando's bongo teacher. Good evening, Jack Gastanto. How are you doing, Mr. Murrow? How are you? Fine. Well, I guess we're now ready to audition a new act. Brando and Costanzo. That even rhymes. Go ahead. Well, A few years later, with new wife Jody and daughter Jill, Costanzo was on the road again before being featured in the movie Harem Scarum. It was Jack and his bongos who set the scene for the king of rock and roll. Hey, little girl. But it was in the movie Bernadine where Mr. Bongo plays his finest role. I've always been very fast with my hands, always. But what really gave me that kind of speed was practicing the basic beat on the bongos. It's called a martillo. Like that. And I practiced it day and night. Tops of roofs in New York. They used to hear me in the whole neighborhoods. <laughs> Who the hell's that up there? <laughs> in the mid-60s, Jack met and married singer and dancer Jerry Wu. Soon they opened at the Tropicana. Then with daughter Cece and Valerie and son Jack Jr., they later moved to San Diego. Jack's career was about to take off again in the 1990s after getting a call from Desi Arnaz to go back on the road. But the man of Ricky Ricardo fame passed away a few weeks later. By 2001, Jack had remarried. He and his wife Maureen lived in Lakeside. When Jack began recording his last two albums, Back from Havana and Scorching the Skins, with some of San Diego's top jazz musicians, like Gilbert Castellanos and pianist Lynn Willard. Jack Costanzo is one of the major contributors to uh, Latin music on the West Coast. And for me, it's had a profound impact on me to be able to play with him and contribute to this music. Blessed with movie star looks, Jack Costanzo lived a good and full life. A year shy of his 100th birthday, the bongo legend passed away from an aneurysm at his home with wife Maureen and family by his side. It is through that love of family and music that we remember Jack Costanzo, a world of wonder whose smile 
and beat will surely go on.